ഈ ടി സി എം എമർജൻസി മെഡിസിൻ ചാനൽ ടുഡേ വിൽ ബി ഡിസ്കസിംഗ് അബൌട്ട് ദ ഡ്രഗ് നോർ റിട്ടിനാലിൻ ഓർ നോർ റിട്ടിനാലിൻ is a very important drug regarding the treatment of uh, peptic or cardiogenic shock and uh, the drug comes most commonly in uh, ampules it comes in amber colored ampule and each ampule will be containing 2 ml of noradrenaline and the 2 ml of noradrenaline will be equal to 4 mg that is one ampule containing 2 ml and the 2 ml will be equal to 4 mg that is each m ml will be having 2 mg of uh, noradrenaline that is it is a 2 mg per ml noradrenaline and the ampule is 2 ml so total 4 mg is there in the 2 ml of noradrenaline in the noradrenaline ampule so coming to the pharmacology noradrenaline acts on alpha 1 and beta 1 receptors the beta 1 action increases the heart rate and the alpha 1 action increases the mean arterial pressure and so because of that there is a reflex bradycardia because of the beta 1 action and uh, because of the alpha 1 action so net effect the beta 1 and alpha 1 action gets balanced and the heart rate is not much affected so basically noradrenaline is a uh, vasopressor which has both beta 1 and alpha 1 action and the beta 1 action and alpha 1 action gets uh, balanced and the net effect the heart rate is not much affected so the uses of noradrenaline it is used in cardiogenic shock where the dose is 0.05 to 0.4 microgram per kg per minute then it is used in post cardiac arrest where the dose is 0.05 to 1 microgram per kg per minute to a maximum of 1 to 3.3 microgram per kg per minute then it is used in sepsis that is septic shock so noradrenaline is the first uh, drug of choice in the management of septic shock the dose is 0.025 microgram per kg per minute to 1 microgram per kg per minute to a maximum dose of 3.3 microgram per kg per minute that is basically it, uh, the dose range from a 2 to 250 microgram per minute so this is regarding how to set up a infusion of noradrenaline so to uh, make an infusion of noradrenaline we can take two ampule of noradrenaline which will be 8 mg that is uh, 4 ml diluted with 46 ml of ns so that 8 mg of noradrenaline will be there in 50 ml of ns uh, 50 ml of the solution so the at 1 ml of the solution will be equal to 0.16 mg of noradrenaline and to start the infusion at 5 microgram per minute we'll have to uh, calculate it and accordingly it will be equal to 1.8 or approximately 2 ml per hour infusion that is to start at 5 microgram per minute uh, the infusion it will be around 2 ml per hour that is if we are taking 2 ampule diluted in 50 ml diluted to 50 ml to set up an infusion 5 microgram per minute it we have to start it at around 2 ml per hour of infusion and to increase it by 5 microgram per minute then we'll have to increase it by 2 ml uh, per hour so coming to the complications of noradrenaline the no complications of noradrenaline is that local infiltration can cause pain local vasoconstriction and other uh, gangrene like complication then another thing is it can lead to tachyarrhythmia tachyarrhythmia uh, and other dysarrhythmias can happen because of noradrenaline and uh, this will further lead to complications like cardiac arrest so the dosage of the drug and the route of administration should be 
uh, well monitored and uh, the max, uh, the maximum dose when we are giving through uh, we have to preferably give it through central line and not a peripheral uh, cannula that is if we are ha uh, ha if we have to give the noradrenaline at a higher dose we will have to uh, secure a central venous axis and to continue the ionophore So that was regarding the drug noradrenaline. I hope all of you have got an idea of uh, what are the indications, how to uh, set up an infusion of noradrenaline and what are the commonly seen complications. Thank you.